So we can see that battery voltage a little high. Well, the maintainer is keeping it up at 1311, 132. We got three pending DTCs. All monitors are complete. So let's move into DTC screen, Bill. Now, we made these DTCs to show you something. First thing about this tool is up top, notice there are no DTCs, meaning there are no hard codes. This would not fail any inspection. Nothing would be wrong with this vehicle. You can see what we did here, P0097, intake air temperature 2, circuit low. P0113, intake air temperature circuit high. Okay, and the barrow pressure circuit low. So what do you think we did to make those codes just to show you a pending code? Now, the reason why it's pending, we didn't drive it. We just did this in the bay, right, Bill? Right. Yep. So tell them what you did, Bill. So we unplugged the mass airflow sensor, and all these sensors are part of that. So it threw three different codes for just the one sensor coming unplugged. Now, if we drove this thing a bit with it disconnected, it will substitute values. It may not idle the greatest or whatever, but to get you where you got to go. And we would have got freeze frame data. There's no freeze frame, hit freeze frame data just for the hell of it. Notice it did not come up because the way the SAE ruling is, is freeze frame is only for a DTC. Right. Now, never hit the clear button like I said. It's like pouring Clorox on a crime scene. If there were codes, we'd wipe all the codes off. Yep. It'd really be sucky. Freeze frame could help us get in the ball game. Was the car yep. cold? Was the car hot? You know, what's yeah. going on with the vehicle? This is your best chance of finding any intermittents that you might have going on or any, any evidence that shows you if you're testing it at idle in the bay and it happened at, you know, 2,000 RPMs going down the road, you're never going to find it in your bay. Yep. Uh, you need to get into that parameter, and this can really help you with that. Let's Gives go you... to read permanent codes. What mode is permanent codes, Bill? Uh, mode 10. Mode 10. So permanent codes is, does not have one because guess what? The vehicle exactly. has not had a code in it. We just put pending codes in. Pending meaning if it happens again, it's going to come up, and then it would lock in here for a set period of time for exact parameters multiple times. Not like a regular code with 40 warm-up cycles or three good drive cycles. It doesn't do that. It's set by a manufacturer specifically. So mode 10 again, what years do we start with that? 2011, mid-year and up. You may find some early, but mostly mid and up. Let's go to the next important tab, uh, Bill. Let's go to monitors, monitors. here. Now, don't stuff. worry. If you don't have this scan tool, well, you could have something like that, something inexpensive that we showed you before. Okay? We don't have to spend big bucks. It's just that generically, I'm going to see misfire, fuel, comprehensive component, oxygen sensor, the heater monitor, the sensor itself, the catalyst, EGR, and EVAP are all complete. I'm not going to have the Friday night surprise. I'm not going to have a customer bent out of shape that now their check engine light came on since I fixed their car. That's one of the worst things to experience. It's not a good setup when that happens. Okay, So always go to monitors. That's why this tool is set up like that. Let's look into mode 6 now. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's pick GM on this, if you don't mind. Yep. So if you can, always try to pick the car rather than generically and just hit read good. Now you notice Bill picked read all mode six continuously rather than once. And the reason why continuous, if you look at the screen, you're going to see it flicker. That means it's going. Hey, Mr. Computer, do I have anything new going on? Most of the time, the vehicle has to be driven, but we've done webcast here with misfires, and it came and showed us immediately without leaving the bay. So right now, we'll look at the list here. You got stuff here with O2 sensor, a lot of O2 sensor. Yep. Go down somewhat. Now, there's your catalyst. So let's highlight that catalyst part there. Notice... Catalyst, you have a test value of 1.29, minimum 0 0.350, maximum of 4.00. So 
So basically, I am not near the number of four, and I'm above 350. That means if I'm a goal post, I'm in between them because it has a min and a max. Not all the time did it give you a min and max. The other thing to notice is notice units. Here you got voltage, you got seconds. Here it doesn't tell you anything. It's blank. That's because that is just a number the manufacturer came up with. How many of you out there have reprogrammed the car? And by the way, I highly recommend this if you got a 420, 430, especially on Toyotas, Hondas, Subarus, Czech, TSBs, Nissans, basically all of those Asian cars. I would check TSBs, go to Identifex, go to All Data, go to Pro Demand, go to Motologic, check to see if there is an update for programming. Don't change the catalytic converter right away. 